Yo, what is up all? How you all doing? I'm just Rob Tech, and Donna have made another microphone. This is the Donna DC20. Their condenser microphone. <laughs> So let's kick it off with what you get in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the microphone itself. You're going to get a hefty, looks like a 10 foot uh, XLR cable. You'll get a another, okay, where is it? Yeah, you'll get another sort of mount, the one I'm using now, which would keep, this is the one that came with the POA. I'm just using this for the microphone. You'll get another one of these style mounts, the little simple ones, similar to what you got with the Audio Technica 80 2020. You get a much better shot mount, and I'm highlighting this by actually having the POA in this microphone. Now, if you watch one of my earlier views, I criticized Donna for the shock mounts that come with the POA. It's absolute garbage shock mounts. So the fact that they included this much superior one in a cheaper microphone makes no damn sense to me at all and yeah so i'm just highlighting this you don't obviously don't get the microphone with the shock mount but i'm just showing that this fits the poa and there is no reason why you didn't you shouldn't have included this shock mount with the poa rant over rant over back to the video because you get this with the you get the shock mount the be much better one with the DC-20, and then the next step up, which is the DC-87, which I will be getting soon. <laughs> but the fact that you get this much better shock mount with this compared to the one you got with the PO-8 makes no damn sense. Right, rant over it. I promise, rant over. Um, you get the you get a microphone stand similar to the one you got with the Pseudotac, but obviously a much better looking quality. And finally, wrapping things up, you get the sort of donna uh leather style pencil case microphone bag and you get a decent shock uh, pop filter which looks like it does hook on to the shock mount um much better looking than the one you got with the po8 so yeah making a lot of sense with your packaging donna because <laughs> let's be honest the po8 is probably gonna be the most popular version so the fact that they've like included much better accessories with the condenser style microphone makes no sense to me at all. But what do I know, eh? I'm just a damn idiot. So kicking things off, we've um, got the technical specifications available. So we it is A. If I get my paperwork all right, there we go. So it's obviously a condenser microphone. It is a cardioid polar pattern. A frequency response of 20 hertz to so 20 kilohertz, an open sensitivity of minus 37 dB, and an impedance of 100 ohm. And obviously, I'll show you the technical specifications and the polar pattern. I've got it running natively out the box. So I've disabled all the filters and um, on OBS. I've got it running at 12 o'clock on the dial to about 50% with phantom power activated. And here's how the microphone would sound fresh out of the box after hooking it up to my audio interface. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook up the shot mount, um, install the pop filter just to show you what this microphone would look like. Obviously, you have to put it on the much better shot mount. Done. Uh, I promise I'm going to stop ranting about it, but no, I'm still fresh in my mind. Right, guys. So this is obviously the microphone hooked up to the shock mount. I've got the pop filter installed, so this will do a good job of handling uh, plosives. So Paul picked up Peter from the post office. They popped to the pub. They bought some pints, and they popped him and made some pancakes. And as you, as you can hear, that's doing a good job handling the profit. Decent quality pop filter, I will say. I like the shock mounts. That's obviously, you know, I'm not going to keep ranting about it, but obviously this is a much better quality one than you get with the uh, the PO8. Um, so I think it's really good that Donna included this. And I think for you don't really need it. For I mean, It's a very light microphone. This will probably fit most boom arms just using the basic mounts that you get with the microphone. Now, with it being a condenser microphone, obviously, it's going to pick up background noises probably a little bit more. So, if I literally just stop talking.
you can probably hear that it's probably picking up the noise of my PC behind me. Um, obviously, you can improve this with uh, filters. So currently, I've got it uh, running without the filters that I usually use for OBS. So if I literally just turn them on now. So this is a DC20 with all of my filters engaged. Um, obviously, you can obviously noise compression and um, compressors are probably going to help a lot with uh, background noises. And obviously, I've got my EQs running to improve the audio. But I'd say I gotta say, natively out the box, I thought this microphone sounded very, very nice. It's got a very bright tone to it, and that's a benefit of condensers compared to say dynamics. Dynamics can be a bit more warmer. Uh, this is a very bright microphone, so you might need to EQ it to just to boost the low frequencies up a bit. But natively out the box, I was very impressed with this microphone. And uh, obviously with some basic EQ, which is I, what I do anyway, I, the, I think the only thing complex I've got is my uh, Reaper plugin, which I got the settings for off another video. And basically just a high pass and low pass boost. Free band equalizer, not the most uh, complex settings I've put onto that. So basically this is the DC20, just running on my basic OBS filters just to improve clarity and obviously make my voice sound a bit better. But got to say, natively out of the box, I was very happy with this as well. So yeah, I like it. So this is usually the part of the video where I would compare it to against my other microphones. But being this is probably my only main condenser microphone, the next one I've got is the Rode M2, which kind of operates too much like a dynamic microphone to make it like a fair comparison. So once I've probably picked up some uh, more condenser microphones, then you'll probably see this a lot more in uh, comparisons against that. Um, so this is where I'm probably going to use the time to talk about the benefits of this microphone versus a dynamic. Now, being a condenser microphone, obviously the main benefit is this will run out of the box into any audio interface that provides phantom power. Whereas dynamic microphones, especially microphones like the DB30, obviously the SM7B, the RE20, require a lot more gain uh, on your preamps. Obviously, you can boost that with items such as cloud lifters or any sort of microphone activator that provides, like, say, 25 to 30 dB of gain. But a condenser microphone eliminates all of that because that will run on any, any audio interface with phantom power. So even the most cheapest basic audio interface that provides that phantom power boost can activate this microphone. Now, that's the one benefit of a condenser microphone over dynamics i'd say the main negative is obviously capturing background noises external noises so for instance if you're in a setting where you want to only hear your voice or your, your audience to hear your voice then a condenser microphone if not eq'd or compressed or obviously filtered like i've got mine running could not just pick up background noises it could pick up you know, private conversations in the household or, or whatever and then people can hear it but obviously with eqs and compressors and you can filter that stuff out but it takes a lot more than say a dynamic that's probably I'd say i'd say the one con of a condenser versus a dynamic but i think they kind of just they just kind of cancel each other out with their own pros and cons basically um i think this microphone sounds very very nice out of the box um as you mentioned earlier in my videos obviously i've got it eq'd and boosted that i usually use on my videos anyway and this just improves the microphone sounds i like that it's plug and play there's no you know it's not abundant with switches on the microphone you know low cut filters e you know, high cut filters all that sort of stuff there's just literally the microphone it looks like an Audio Technica 2020, obviously just in silver. I kind of like the silver look on the, the DC20 and the POA. It's very unique, whereas a lot of microphones are going for that black um, sort of look to it. Obviously, you know, most remnant to an SM7B. So I kind of like the fact that Donna is going with something with more of a unique look to it to stand out in the crowd. Um, in the general market terms, I think this is priced very, very well. Um, the good things about Donna microphones, I've noticed at the moment, there's always an offer going on. So I picked this up for £39. 
I believe it was off. Yeah, £39. But a couple of weeks ago, it was going with a 50% off coupon, which would have got me allowed me to pick it up for £25. So it always is worth looking on Amazon for Donna microphones because there's always an offer going on. So obviously, they're being very aggressive in the market, which is good to see. And like the P08, this is undercutting a lot of uh, equivalent microphones. So obviously, the next step up to this is the Audio Technica 80 2020, which usually is going for about 60 to 70 pounds these days. So this is coming in already quite aggressive price point, which I think is very, very good. Uh, as far as cons go, um, to be honest, I'd say it's more aimed at Donna itself. I mean, obviously, I mentioned at the start of the video, I said, I don't get why this shot mount can't come with a POA. I, I, I keep ranting about it. It just doesn't seem like this, this shot mount should have been universal across all ranges because, as I showed you in the video earlier, this does fit the POA. Obviously, the, the, it fits the PO8, which is pretty hilarious. Really, <laughs> it makes no sense to me at all why they went with, with with this rubbish shock mount over over this much superior one, really. Um, but that's kind of the main con I would say. But that's not really a a, a con against this microphone. That's kind of more of a con against Donner and their like branding. Because let's be honest, the PO8 is probably going to be the most popular version out of these microphones. I mean, although like, this is a very very good microphone. But as far as like you know, your podcasts and your content creators, they're going to gravitate towards the PO8 more because obviously Dynamics are seem to be the more popular versions for that sort of level of content. But I do believe this has a place as well. It, I mean, I think it looks very broadcasty. I think the design of it looks good. The the, the ex included accessories. Out of all the microphones I've got, I will say, regardless of whatever complaints I have about some of their accessories from the previous microphone, I think this kit is brilliant. For what you get, I mean, after you've got, obviously, the, this microphone, all you'd need then is a boom arm, and you could make use of any boom arm at all for being so light. So that is a huge, huge... Not only are you getting this microphone a lot cheaper than the next stop up, which would obviously be an 80-20-20, you're also getting a very decent accessory pack with this. So I think Donner's like, entry to the market has been great for the industry because they are bringing in a lot of value. And I hope a lot of other companies take note and start doing it as well because this, this shop mount alone I've seen on Amazon from similar designs usually go for about 20 to 30 pounds. So the fact that you're getting this included with a microphone, which is already undercutting a lot of other condenser microphones, I think is great savings. So that is my kind of final thoughts on this microphone. I do like it. It's going to be one of my staples that I use and to benchmark against other microphones. Right then, guys, that was the Donna DC20. I'll pop a link in the description where you can find it for the best price currently. If you want to see more videos like this, please drop a subscribe. And if you like the video, please drop a like. Cheers again for watching. See you next time. Just Rob Tech out.